All right, guys, this is the fold the plate activity. For this, you're going to need just a regular paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can use a piece of paper that you can cut into a circle. Okay? You're going to need that. You need a ruler. And you need some markers or some colored pencils. Okay? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to divide our plate in half. So we're going to fold it nice and tight. And while I'm folding it, I'm going to kind of press out some of these bumps from the plate so it looks more flat. Then I'm going to open that up and I'm going to trace that line I just made with, I'm going to line up my ruler with it and I'm going to trace it across. Okay. And that is going to be called the equator. I'm going to label it equator, and that is at zero degrees. Okay? This is a line of latitude. Remember, lines of latitude go across. They are parallel, and they never intersect. Lines of latitude, the way I remember that is I call them latitude is fatitude. So you're going to have lots of lines that are parallel. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my plate again to create some more lines of latitude. So I'm going to fold my plate. I'm going to fold it in half, push down really hard so you can get it nice and flat. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. This is where it gets tight and it gets hard to do. So do it however works best for you. Fold it down and it gets, it gets tight, but push it really hard. Get it really good. Okay, then you're going to open it up and you've got all these nice lines that you've made. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to trace those too. So when I go from the equator, the numbers go the same up from the top. They also are the same from the bottom, except they end in zero and they get bigger as you go up and as you go down. This is the North Pole up here. This is the South Pole down here. I'm going to trace my first line. I'm going to choose a new color this time. So I'm going to trace my lines of latitude. Now colored pencil doesn't work very well on this because this plate is kind of waxy. But I'm going to trace my lines of latitude with blue all along where I folded it. Okay, so there's my lines. And this one didn't look too good. Let me redo that. We should have used markers, and that's what I recommend, is markers in order to do this. Markers. So it's easy to see across. These are my lines of latitude. Now, since these are above the equator, these are north. So I'm going to label this 30 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 90 degrees north. And I'm going to come down here and do the same thing. I'm going to trace where I folded. And I'm still using the same color because these are still lines of latitude. Now what do you think these are going to be down here? These are north. What do you think these are going to be down here below the equator? That's right, south. So 30 degrees 
south, 60 degrees south, 90 degrees south. Okay? Now, since my first line didn't show up too well, I'm going to just retrace my equator for you. So it's real easy for you to see. Zero degrees. So we go north and we go south. These are lines of latitude. Latitude is fatitude. Now what I'm going to do is label my poles. This is the North Pole, and this is the South Pole. Let's see what color. I guess I'll use orange. South Pole, SP. North Pole, NP. Now, what do we know about those? Do you know what line intersects in between the North Pole and the South Pole and goes all around the Earth? You're right. It's the prime meridian. So now we're going to fold our lines of longitude. Now, you know, these lines here, they never touch. These are parallel lines, okay? But when we start talking about latitude, they go through the poles, so I'm going to turn my plate sideways, and I'm going to fold it the opposite direction this time. Get a nice crease down on there. It goes right through the poles. And I'm going to trace that line. And this is going to be the prime meridian. This is at zero degrees longitude. Zero degrees longitude. And it goes all the way around the earth. Okay? Now, this is where we won't be able to fold things anymore because it gets a little bit it gets a little bit different for us. So now what we're going to do is create some more lines of longitude. And what you need to understand is that all the lines of longitude intersect at the poles. So depending on what kind of an artist you are is how, the, how this is going to actually turn out for you. But I'm going to make some lines along here so I know where to kind of drop them. My plate is... So I'm just kind of seeing about where it is evenly, and I'm drawing some quick dots where I'm going to have my lines come down. I'm going to start up here at the North Pole, and I'm going to kind of make a half circle coming down to the south. I'm going to do that again through this little line, and start again at the North Pole, coming south like that. So these are lines of longitude, and they connect at these points. Again, opposite of these. These are parallel. They never touch around the Earth, where these lines actually do. They all meet through the poles, and they make their way around the Earth. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. A little half circle and come down. Kind of looks like a pumpkin now, doesn't it? Now I'm going to label these lines. Everything from the prime meridian is where you use your measurement. This right here in the middle is zero degrees, zero degrees. Prime meridian is on zero. So everything this way is west. Everything this way is east. Remember, north and south. Never eat soggy waffles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label these. This is... 30 degrees west, 60 degrees west, 90 degrees west, and then the same on this side, only this is east of the prime meridian, so 30 degrees west, 60 degrees west, 
90 degrees west. And so now you've created your very own globe out of a plate and you've folded it so it makes it easier for you. You can do this over and over again or do it with a friend to help you. You can make more lines of longitude. You can make them skinnier if you want to. I just went up by by 30s so that we would have a better space. This is what you're going to take a picture of and send to me so that I can give you a grade.